leadership award. Mm -hmm. He knew about that, correct? It yes, it was fall. announced last fall in September, I believe. So tell us how he felt about receiving the honor. He was actually thrilled because he thought that this was a special award. He had so much respect for Bob and said that Bob was a man of integrity. And so, and he, he remembered going to the Sundance Film Festival when it was just a little event, I guess, in the Holiday Inn in Utah. And uh, now it's the most important event for American cinema there is. So Roger thought that this award was very special. I was there when Roger came back, I think it was in 2000, um, he had to, when he was sick in 2006, he couldn't go to the festival for a couple years. And it was so touching when he did return to the festival and he and Bob, the first time they saw each other and greeted each other, it really, I mean, people were crying. It was. So, because they had shared so many things over the years, and they both were so passionate about, you know, American independent cinema. So that's, I think, in my mind, that's really special. That's a nice one. Yes. Um, I have to say that everyone has just talked about how giving he was, and yes. that seems to be the theme with Roger, that he's always sort of made it forward in his life. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't, where did this man come from? I. I wonder that he was really so kind and generous and, um, you know, he just said his philosophy, kindness, so, although we can't forget that he's also the one who wrote the book, I hated, hated, hated this movie, but that came from a level of integrity as well, so. Okay, last question, um, the Institute is establishing a Roger Ebert scholarship for film criticism tonight. Oh. Um, can you Oh, that is so much the Ebert way. I'm so pleased. I, I don't really know a lot about it, so thank you for telling me, and um, I think it's wonderful, of course. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Anything else that you would like to add? No.